Greg and Drake, 1 Good morning. We got our Fun Friday mix with DJ Herb coming up in just a minute. But we got a very special guest in the studio. We've been working hard uh, to get on the air with us for some time. And today we got him at this at this special time. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Coach Hut, Fresno State, men's Love basketball that. coach. First season. And by the way, from Bakersfield, California. I'm a Valley boy. He's a I Valley got boy. Fun Friday. I ain't that fun. No, oh, <laughs> come on, Coach Hutt. Now, I bet when you go in to recruit those young men out there, you, it's got to be some fun. Yeah, Sitting I in put those, a smile on it. Of course you do. Talk about the great Valley, all the good food here. <laughs> all the good food here. Wait, do you have, so being from the Valley, do you have a certain type of food that you prefer? What's your favorite type of food? I like barbecue myself. Oh, you're like Dre then. Okay, you and Dre would get along. Dre's yeah, I love fan. stuff that used to run. That's how Someone he rolled. grabbed it and then they put it on my plate. That's how I get down, Coach. You like me. This man right here, I can't even remember last time he had some meat. I think he had a piece of beef jerky back in 2005. <laughs> yeah, That's now, about it. back in the day, this is just a little Bakersfield thing. I went to UC Riverside, and back in the day when I was there, and by the way, I started my broadcasting career doing play-by-play -play for basketball for my university, which is University of California, Riverside. And back in the day, the big rivalry was Bakersfield-Riverside. Back in the day. I was on that team. No way. Yeah, absolutely. 93, 94. No. No way! Yeah. No way! Do you remember when we had Bob Fife, the big 6'11 dude? Do. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You were there, I was there. They had great teams. Yeah, that was a rivalry Coach back Macy, in the day. Coach Macy, the coach. Coach Macy, he always, I always thought he looked like Lenny Wilkins. Yeah, he had the same haircut. Great teams, great rivalry. I remember being on those buses going from Bakersfield. All that the was it. And, and it was like every, like for about three straight years, it was like the championship. Because it isn't like Division Two isn't like Division One, where the Southern Conference, you could take a team from the West Coast and put them in the South Bracket. Division two is you got to play the teams in your region right there, yeah. to keep advancing to the you know and so it always came it was Bakersfield Riverside every year that's so that's crazy ironic. Small yeah small world. Small world right there but I was a broadcaster for um, for Riverside and for a couple years there you had us and then it was like ninety five we got past Bakersfield and went all the way and got on TV and played for the national championship division two UC Riverside. Did. It was about a four or five year rivalry there. Yes. I went to Cal State Bakersfield for two years. We were 92, 93, 94. That's when I was there. That's my time. Yeah, that's amazing, man. What and, a great connection. And, what you don't know, Coach, he was the youngest student. He was only eight years old. <laughs> he was only eight years old. He was a prodigy. He was a prodigy. <laughs> oh, well, Coach Hutt, man, welcome to now Fresno State. You're, uh, you're coming into the program. Tell us about this year's team. Glad to be here. We have a team that's that's small, but we're fast. We can shoot threes. We're very athletic in the backcourt as far as our quickness. So we're trying to push the tempo. Yeah, I like that. We're trying to push the tempo. We're pressing a little bit more. We're, we're driving and kicking and kicking out and shooting the three. Sometimes we shoot some good ones. Sometimes we shoot some bad ones. But we're very confident out there. We've had some success early, but we got a really good team in Long Beach State coming in this Saturday. Awesome. Um, and by the way, for fans that don't know, this is actually the longest home streak ever for Fresno State at the Save Mart Center. You're in the middle of a seven-game home, home streak right now, which is kind of like unprecedented. You're playing the entire month of December at home. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That, hey, <laughs> it's your first year as coach. Don't be mad at it. That's a good thing, right? A lot of it was already scheduled when I got here, and then I think we added in a few home games, so it worked out that way. Yeah, that's that was awesome. like a tool they use to recruit you. You know, we go all December. You got to go nowhere. That's part of the deal. I'm not First sure if they like that or not, or if they want to go to a tournament in Hawaii. I think it's more selling. They love yeah. the tournament we just came from down in Anaheim. Yeah. Disneyland, the guys went to Disneyland on our day off. And That's pretty played cool. Played on ESPN, that was really fun. That's awesome. Yeah, and by the way, you're, you're off to a great start. Six and two, you got a four game win streak going. So uh, the team is responding, man. How, how are you feeling? What, what's the, it can be tough, maybe your first year. A lot of these guys are maybe players that you inherited, uh, that you had to get to know, they had to get to know you. It's not like all guys that, again, you recruited from the jump, but um, how are you feeling about the chemistry of the team as you, uh, you know, in the preseason here before we get into Mountain West play? Is it coming together? It's coming together. We're still Still working on it. It's a work in progress, like every coach would say this time of year. It is a lot of new faces. Yeah. Not just me, but the guys on the team. I think we have a couple guys that returned that played with Deshaun and Sam. Yep. And Deshaun had a huge role in the last few years of Fresno State success. And right. Sam was a role player. So now you have a lot of guys that are out there playing and they're learning how to gel together despite who the coach is. And yeah. then you add in a new coach. Mm. So now it's time to work and we're getting out there. We're doing pretty good in, in December, but the schedule is going to get tougher as we get into Mountain West play. Yeah, you, guys, and you guys are up tempo, you know, shooting. The Love that style. You know, jacking them up. Again, you're, you're giving some guys some little leeway. 
some coaches will give them an order hook. I've seen you let some guys, you know, work it, work it out. Um, do you see that's where like the conference is going? Or looking for more pure shooters from the outside, or is the big man game still existing? You're still looking to get that big center. Where do you see things going? Is it a recruiting, working with your style, or is it just trying to like I have an ultimate goal, but I'm gonna work with what I got now? Great question, Dre. Thank you. Great question. Uh, you're gonna get the best players you possibly can. You know, and right now what we've inherited, you had a two-part question, is we have some guards that can really shoot and, and score the basketball. So we wanted to make sure that we played a style that could help them be successful. No doubt. You know, and we're, we are a little small, so we don't want to stay in the half court all the time because now size wins out. We do have a seven foot two guy sitting out. We got another six nine local product sitting out, Chris Seeley from Central High. Mm. We have some good post players. So I think you're just gonna play to your strengths is what you're gonna do. You're gonna recruit the best player and student and character you possibly can. No doubt. And then you're gonna match that and put the five best players on the floor. And this year it happens to be a lot of running and a lot of shooting. That's awesome. exciting. Because All you right. see that mimicking uh, like the bigs. I mean, this is like you see the NBA gun, level. The three pointer. It's kind of went back to that style, but I don't know. It's but you got some dominant big guys too, uh, who are, uh, you know, the Greek Freak and some others who are like, you, you look at that game and now, you go, what, what? we gotta make sure that stays part of basketball as well. Dre, do you put yourself in the category of the dominant big man? Is that how you, your vision for yourself at Wait this stage of your I, career? I, Dre told me he was a point guard. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm personal. laughs> is now, that what it is? You wanna go back to my early oh, origins. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I could dominate in, in, the, in the inside hey, and in the fourth So grade. Dre's already given you his recruiting pitch then. I got a couple years of eligibility. He's got coach. all his eligibility okay, left. Put some pounds on, so he went from a point guard to a power yeah, forward. I don't okay. know if I can get up like I used to. All right. Um, well, here's the deal. Reason for excitement with Fresno State men's basketball tomorrow, Long Beach State. That's going to be a big game, 4 p.m. So you get out, enjoy the game, and you still got your Saturday night to enjoy as well. So make a full day and night of it. Uh, but there's some cool stuff going on. Number one, ten dollar tickets is where tickets start at for non-conference games. Ten dollars. That's a steal right there. Uh, and tomorrow night, I know that the basketball team, you you guys are going to be celebrating actually the football team's success. How great is that? That's pretty cool. Coach that, that, Tedford has been awesome since he's been here. Incredible. And, you know, proud to be a Bulldog. And he, he's really taking me underneath his wing. I can't wait till his season ends where we can really sit down and talk and he can mentor me even more. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great that there's that connection there. And you guys will be celebrating the, the men's you know, football Mountain West Championship. And also, something very cool for the fans, the fourth annual baby race will take place at halftime. Have you ever seen a baby race, Coast? I have not. You are going to, well, I don't know if you can, you got to be, I don't know if you're like the guy that like hugs at halftime or you yell at halftime. I don't know. Some coaches hug, some just yell. I don't know what you are, but if you could sneak out and check out the baby race at halftime, I would encourage you to do so. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be out and see the baby race, but I'll have family in the stands, so maybe they can use their phone and and, and film it for me. There you go. There you go. I'm not fired up about the baby race. When the babies gonna race? I want to see the babies. Dre, get your mind out of the gutter, (laughs) man. Get your mind out of the gutter. But this is a tomorrow night Long Beach State. But uh, you know, you got Cal. You got some other great opponents coming up here in just a little bit. Some really reason to get the fans excited here. We do. We do. And you know. There's not a lot of sports, you know, everybody's about the Bulldogs here in Fresno. Exactly. So no matter who we're playing, come out and cheer us on. That's what I'm talking about. Well, Coach Hutt, um, we're glad. We, we, we're glad. Hope, we want to keep a relationship going with you. We want to support this team. We want to get the community excited about your basketball team. That's what Greg and Jerry are all about. We're about this community, and the, and the Fresno State Bulldogs are a big part of that, and we want to help you. I appreciate that. Whatever we can do. It's mutual. I listen to 97.1 every morning going hey, into work. That's so, what I'm and I don't want to brag, but uh, Greg and Drake, this morning's show, uh, the coach before you, uh, great guy as well. We love Coach um, That came on this show, and um, I sang them a song, and they went yeah. to the tournament. They went to the NC2A tournament that year. With a yeah. song he sang. They had we, a really good team that year. But, but here's the deal. Uh-oh. We offered him the same invite the following year. He was too busy, couldn't make it in. No tournament. Drake. I'm just gonna leave Drake it at that. Set cause he I'm, another just, song. I'm gonna Drake. leave it at that. You sound like a lot of the fans that you don't think it had anything to do with the players. No, it was, that all me, huh? it was all me, coach. It was all me. Dre likes to, you know, you know, he likes to get his credit where he can, coach. I love the players. Yeah. I love the enthusiasm. We've always supported. I uh, go to games. My daughter's a student at Fresno State. Uh, she and I have gone to games together. Uh, she's dealing with an injury now, but once she gets on the field, we'll be at the games cheering you on for there sure. You go. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best. All right, we were. 
we're, we're pulling for you. Well, thank you very much. We're Thanks for having for me. And I'm glad we're on the same team now after that Bakersfield Riverside rivalry. We're on opposite sides well, back you there. You didn't mention that we won those, mind you. Well, I know. Jeez, I wasn't dad. You pulling that out? I wasn't there in 95, and I wasn't the best player, but I had a good teammate. Riverside went to the championship game for Division Two. All right, um, thank you, Coach. Uh, Thanks for having me. Look, tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, I should say, it's Long Beach State, 4 p.m., but a seven-game home streak during the middle of it. Um, so there's plenty of games to check out for the month of December.